Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited, episode 12. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we are continuing our way through Chrono Trigger this season. And if you've been following along, we are in <laughs> the not-too-distant future of 1999. Of course, when this game came out in 95, 1999 was a long ways away, <laughs> and what a strange time it was. So, we just found out how the world ends and have decided... We're not going to take it. You, you can chant along with that, too. We're not going to take it. <laughs> yeah, I know. 1999 seems like so long ago now, too, especially as things rolled over to 2020 at the time, as as we're recording this. Um, now, now it's time to go back and watch all those movies that had 2020 as the distant future. Um, yeah, th thanks for that. I was a little older in 1999. I graduated high school. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let, let's go ahead and beat these guys up for the XP, right? Come on. You know you want to. Let's do this. Combo Fire Whirl. I know we'll only be able to deal it once, but that is all we've got at the moment that can do damage to these guys. Not that that's going to hurt him any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been playing these games for a little while. I had a lot of fun playing this multiple times, trying to find all the different endings. Um, I know there's about 20-ish different variations of the endings. Yeah, I... Oh, no, uh, attack. Sorry. Getting distracted. Uh, yeah, I did play 007. Um, my younger sister had the, S had the uh, N64 and played uh, 007 on that with her. The SNES was the last console I owned and actively played. Um, so I did play the... Uh, Link to the Past, but I never got into Ocarina of Time, and Arcadius is fond of letting me know that I really, really, really should go play Ocarina of Time, and that I would certainly enjoy it. And I'm pretty sure I would. I, I did like the way the Zelda games played out. They were a lot of fun. I do remember the Genesis, too. I never owned one. Um, I had a couple of friends that had them. Here I am, constantly reminding myself, oh yeah, I should definitely check on people's hit points. Chrono's down to 23, and here I am yakking on uh, <laughs> about game systems. Alright, um, let's do that. The trippiest heal of all, all times. <laughs> yeah, I never got into the PlayStation into things either. I mean, I guess I probably should have at some point, but um, uh, once uh, once we got into the N past the SNES, it was all computers all the time. I, I just got really big into building com custom computers and that sort of thing, and um, and working from there. All right, you know what? Come on. Let's get one more group heal, just the same. And it was a good time to be a PC builder. And then, uh, once Intel and AMD really got hard on the proprietary stuff, it was, uh, it got a lot less fun to build PCs. PC games were still fun. Uh, season 1 of Games Revisited, we played through Knights of the Old Republic, which was an absolute blast. And that came out in 2001, 2003, somewhere around there. Come on, give me the XP, guys. Of 
Xbox. I also remember playing a lot of the early PC games from around the same time that I had the NES and SNES, like Commander Keen and <laughs> one of the early games by the infamous John Carmack and id Software. If only Nintendo hadn't turned them down. Who knows if we would have ever gotten Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. It's funny how that stuff works out. Alright. You're back. I forgot to set my timer again. Talk on it. I need like I need to add like one more sticky note right up here. That your timer. And what did you discover? This is our future. Hmm. Who cares? Where's the food? This is the only thing left. A seed. You don't know how long that Enertron will hold out. That seed might be your only hope. Anyway, just stay alive. Don't give up. We won't either. Hmm. You're a strange bunch. You're different from us somehow. You mean because we haven't lost hope? Yikes. Hope. There's a word I haven't heard in some time either. It does have a comforting ring to it, though. Until it's abused later by a certain mouse and a certain intellectual property. But we won't go there. I don't know what kind of seed this is, but I'll do my best to grow it. What's that? This may be just the thing we need. You're off to Protodome, then. You'll need to pass through Site 32. Take this with you. A jet bike key. Gramps got a bike key. It's the key to a jet bike parked at Site 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hopefully it still works. They've got even more powerful robots in that dome, and they've overrun the place. Take care, and don't give up hope. Aww. All right. Guys, seriously, let me in the uh, Enertron. Yeah, Mario and Zelda and a lot of the NES and uh, the early Zeldas. And on Game Boy, I, I only got a couple of different games there. All right, let's go ahead and save our progress. Because we do have enough worth saving. Let's see if we can fit this great race while everybody stares at us as we get lost on our way out. And zigzag back and forth. And guys, you really don't have to keep looking. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm tempted to try to go to... That's right, 1999 was the day of lava, so you end up in 2300. There we go. Now they kept saying that the abandoned sewers were too tough to get to get to the southern continent. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go the prescribed route and head on through the uh, bike race. Site 32. I mean, first let's loot the stuff and get a mid potion. Watch out for the rats. Oh, no rats. Robots, but no rats. Hold it right there. Oh. Bro. Thanks for the intro, boys. You Lolos can call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Now listen up. If you're getting a vibe from... No, right. <laughs> are we going for Benny and the Jets? Are we going for uh, Newsies or... All right, now listen up. You ruined the high, the ruined highway up ahead, and the old. Try this again. The ruined highway up ahead's the only road you've got. You want to reach the other side, then you're gonna have to ride in a race against me. That is. 
I'll let you use that jet bike because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat and you don't dare chicken out. So, do you shiny axles know how to ride? Nope. All right, listen up and let Johnny tell you how it's done. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast to steer, just press the up and down directional buttons. Tap B for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them. The B icon shows how many you've got left. Heads up, though. After you use one, you can't use another until the gauge above the icon refills. You can check your position from the finish line on the screen. Now show me what you got. All right, let's do this. Leroy. Come on, bump him, bump him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Knock him. Don't waste your boost. Not till we get closer to the end. Did I win? I hope I won. I like to hope I won. I hear vaguely victorious music in the background. Sad robot. Oh, wait, no, that's a production company. No, that's bad robot. You beat me? I don't get it. Well, you can come and challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. All right. Well, that was easier than I remember. All right, so we got a derelict factory and proto dome. Just for kicks, what is in the derelict factory? Uh, death and destruction, maybe? <laughs> for six damage. Yeah. Yeah, something tells me that this might not be where we need to be. Nope. Not in the least. Eh, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Before we do anything else, let's do the smart thing and save just in case something really, really bad happens there. Okay, so we can't get through there. And is that going to drop another dude on us? Yeah, that's going to drop another dude on us. All right, so clearly we aren't meant to be here just yet. Let's go ahead and knock this guy out and... Uh, And call it done. Oh, that was quicker. All right, it's not like we can't come back here and do that one later. That is the nice thing about time travel. Hmm. Let's get this done quick, boys. Yikes. Don't daze me, bro. Hmm. Of course, these guys should be quick to finish off anyway. All right, I guess we'll go with the uh, regular attacks. Onward and forward, and... Oh, goody. More of them. Yeah, this seems to be working better than the, uh, whirl. Two down. Two to go. Do 
172 XP, 180 gold. Oh, good. And a chance to uh, rest up. Good thing I didn't waste a uh, filter on the map. That's a sad look. That's the same look the dog gives me every time he's hungry. What's this thing? What's this? What's this? It's in bad shape, but it looks like a humanoid robot. Incredible. Hmm, I think I can fix it. What if it attacks us like the other ones? I'll make sure it won't. Robots don't attack of their own free will, you know. They only do it because humans make them that way. You really feel for them, don't you? I'd better get to work. Time passes by. Motion happens. Things. The door won't budge. It's almost like we need him to open the door. Alright, that should do it. I'm going to give it some juice. Yay! A fourth party member. Good morning. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marley. Marley and me. This is Chrono. And that's Luca, the one who fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca. No, uh, she's not a madam either. That's a different game. Just Luca will do. That manner of address could potentially cause offense. I am incapable of offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when people are so formal all the time. Isn't that right? <laughs> Understood, Luca. Alright, so what's your name? Perhaps you are referring to my serial number. My serial number is R66Y. Cool. Cool, what are you talking about? That won't do at all. Come on, Chrono. Let's give him a better name. Like, Robo. Is Robo correct? Yep, it is. We're going with default names for everybody. All right, that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? My name is Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, there's something I was hoping you could. What happened here? The dome contained many humans and others like me. Oh dear, this is kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened while you were out. I, I don't think anyone else is left. I see. What about yourselves? We came through a gate, a uh, time warp from the year 1000. We learned there was a gate here when we went to Aristome. And then we found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory to the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to be of assistance. However, the generator will produce power for only a short time. Someone must remain here to keep the party at three. I mean, to open the door as soon as the powers are stored. <laughs> Alright, Marley and I can stay. Who will stay behind? Luca. Because Martley can at least heal. Alright, so we got our party. And I find myself at the same sort of crossroads. This feels a little too short for a regular episode, but I'm not sure the factory is going to take less than 10 minutes. Ah, Alright, let's do it. I don't want to stop. 4 a.m. when I go to work comes early. And I still gotta cut and upload and edit and all that good fun stuff. Let's do this. Let's see how far we can get in 10 minutes. Probably should have checked what Robo's equipment was too. Oh yeah. He's got the codes. Override security system 00. And we still gotta fight that dude anyway. Okay.
hit him with the power fist. Warforge. Oh wait, no, that's a different system. All right, Ooh, we learned something. Uh, our whirl, rocket punch, cure beam, our beam. Okay. Okay, so that's the uh, aura and a cure beam at the same time. Oh, so he also has a heal. I forgot about that. Good to remember. No, oh, no, I wanted to go to equipment. He's got a tin arm, an iron helm, and a titanium vest. All right. Defense 25, defense 32, so he's already got a better better go on that. Yeah, he's about as good on gear as we can get. Onward and forward, right? Let's battle the things, get the XP. Come on, get him quick, quicker. Yeah, and he should be dead soon. Ooh. Um, I'm looking at the map for this thing, and uh, I definitely seem to have underestimated the size of the power factory at the end of time. So. I am going to do the smart thing, even though it's not what I want. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to save. And this is where I'm going to move things over to the credits and say for both YouTube and the live stream that this is the end of episode 12. Thank you for joining along. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to watch live, I do Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Twitch and Mixer. If you're already watching live, you know where that is. On YouTube, you'll see the links in the description below. If you want to catch up on past episodes and see how things have come in the past, then you'll want to go to the YouTube channel. If you're watching live, there's a link in the description below. And uh, if you're already watching on YouTube, you know where you are. So congratulations. Make sure you subscribe to get notified when new episodes go live. You'll also see videos from a couple other projects to include the CoffeeCraft server, a uh, Minecraft Let's Play survival server that I do with a couple of my friends and, uh, and everything that's going on on there. With all that said and done, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Have fun.